So welcome to the Computer Science Remote Lesson on Tuesday the 12th of January 2021. This is the Period 4 lesson. So we're going to very quickly recap binary and then we're going to do a bit of binary addition and there's a worksheet for you to attempt that will be given to you in Teams. So binary, just going to quickly recap. It uses a two digit system which is zeros on ones. It's normally blocked in eight digits called a byte. And the reason it's used in computing is simply because inside a microchip, there are essentially electronic switches that can either be on or off. So the only way a computer can store things is with these switches being on or off. So if we visualize the on as one and the off as zero, all data must be represented by on or off, one or zero. So that is why computers use binary as opposed to using another system. Our number system, decimal or deanery, uses a 10 digit system as you can see here. So you always start with one on the right, this is called the least significant digit because it's worth the least, this is worth the least of all these, these are always worth more than that in theory, you know, the column is. So this is worth one, this is worth 10, this is worth 100 and this is in our number system, it goes up times 10 each time and it goes up times 10 each time because it's a 10 digit system. So in theory what you're doing when you write a number here is you're doing the top number times the bottom number and then adding them all up. So 100 times 7 plus 10 times 3 plus 1 times 4 and that actually ends up with 734. Okay, So that's basically what you're doing when you do your number system. You don't think of it that way but that is what we're doing. If we go to binary which is a two digit system okay, you will note that the least significant column is still worth 1 because they're always worth 1 but it doubles each time, times two. And the reason it's times two each time as you go to the left is because it is a two digit system, okay? So in decimal ordinary times 10, because it's a 10 digit system, in decimal, in binary, sorry, we do times two each time. Now binary is quite easy because there's no real point in multiplying the top by the bottom because you've only got a zero or a one. Obviously times in by zero is going to be zero and times in by one is gonna keep the number the same. So all you have to do really is add up the digits that have um, the number behind below them. So here, all these three, that was a terrible highlighting, but you get the gist. All these three digits have the number below them. So if I make them black, so you've got 16, four and two there. So we add them up to get 22. But that is quite simply how binary works. It's only a recap. You should all know this. I'm just recapping it very quickly. Um, for your benefit. If you wanted to do a different binary number and you had to put it in, well, essentially you've got to work out what numbers add up. So if I want to do 61, well I know I need to put, six, uh, not 64, sorry, because that would go over the top. I know I need to do 32, 16 and eight. Now I add them up and I'm already on, so that, that plus that is going to be 48, 56. So if I want 61, I've got five more, so I need to put four and one, and that would give me 61 because all those add up to 61. There is only one way to make every number because that's how the math works. So binary addition, okay? This is a bit we're really looking at today. How do you add two binary numbers together? Well, you do it in a very similar way to how we add our numbers together. You start on the right-hand side and you work to the left. So the first thing we need to do before we start doing uh, any binary addition is writing out this table because it really helps. Essentially what we're doing is we're writing out the binary for naught, one, two and three. So 00 is a binary for naught in two digits, okay? Zero, 01 is a binary for one in two digits, one zero and one one. And if you look back here, you'll see if you ignore all these for the minute, so zero, 00 would be a zero. If we put a one there, then we've got a one. If we put one zero, then we've got the digit two. If we put one one, we've got two and one, and that makes three. So this is the binary for naught, one, two and three. Because when we do our math, this is going to be our carry number and this is going to be our result. And it will become a lot easier once I show you how to do it. So I'm just going to copy into Affinity Designer. Not doing for some reason. Oh, because I'm writing. I'll just take a very quick uh, screen grab of it. Because that way I don't have to flip back and forth between the programs. So Shift S working for some reason oh I know why it's not working because I've locked it on my keyboard because I was gaming so there we go right paste that in there and I'll bring that across in a second right so here we go 
So this is the two numbers I'm going to add up. It doesn't even matter what the numbers are. I'm not going to look at them. Obviously, afterwards, you could do the math yourself normally to check you know, that the math normally works, so you could convert these numbers to decimal and then add them up. But in the exam and in all things, you've got it doesn't really matter what the numbers are, you've just got to add them up. So what I'm going to do is just put a copy underneath here, just this box ready to, um, to start writing out the answers, right? So I'm going to start on the right-hand side. I'm just going to put a little dot there to, so that I'm ready to, to come back. Actually, I won't do that. So 1 plus 0, okay? One, so you go from the right and you work down. 1 plus 0 is 1, okay? So what we do, I'm just going to get a pen. Draw this, this will probably all go wrong. What's this pen look like? Not big enough. So bear with me. There we go. Right, delete that now. So I'm going to do it in pen. So 1 plus 0 is 1. So we go here, and then we've got 1 for the result and 0 for carry. So we put 0 for the carry, 1 for the result. Now we add up this column. 1 plus 1 plus, is plus 0 is 2. So we go to the total. So we've got 1 for the carry, 0 for the result. 1 for the carry, 0 for the result. And we carry on. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. 3 is 1, 1. 1, 1, 0 plus 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 is 0 for the carry, 1 for the result. We don't have to write the noughts, but I just think it's easier to keep writing the 0. 0, 1, 0 is 1 again, so that is 0 for the carry, 1 for the result, oh, that's not a very good 0. So 1 plus 1 plus 0 is 2, so that's 1 for the carry, 1 for the, uh, 0 for the result, okay, 0 plus 1 plus 1 is 2 again, 1 for the carry, 0 for the result, and then 0 plus 0 plus 1 is 0 for the carry and 1 for the result. Okay, so you can see here this is the binary number added up using that method. It's not very, very tricky. You've just got to learn to write this table out, go down the right hand side one at a time, and then you. Oh, I always write the carry and the result because then it doesn't matter if you get, you know, get confused. You just add up each column, you look at this, you write the carry number here. I could even do that a different color. If you've got a different pen, you could do that. Obviously, I'm in computer program, so it's not difficult for me to change it. Um, and just so you know, any that go over the edge, so if any go over the left edge, okay, so let's just say they are lost, and this is called an overflow, right? So I'm good to type in not. So if, for example, we ended up with 1, 1, 1 here, then we would actually have 3, and then the carry would be 1. So this number would be 1, and this would be 1, but this data is lost because it's outside the block, and that is called an overflow, okay? And the computer has to deal with that in some way, and programs have to look for that uh, issue. Um, and that's a, another reason why it's important as to how much memory, you, uh, bytes, you, uh, bits you allocate to things. That's why you need like 32-bit numbers and 64-bit numbers because you're much less likely to get overflows on a 64-bit number when the maximum number is absolutely unbelievable. Um, so you're much less likely to get an overflow when adding things together. Okay, so what I want you to do now is attempt the worksheet in Teams. We just got some binary translation from decimal to binary back and forth and then some simple binary additions. I'll put um, a couple on there so you can have a good go. All right, thanks.